Next, I'd like to introduce Michelle Betrino. She is uh, the director for the New Jersey Meadowlands Commission Business Accelerator. Thank you. Uh, it's been a great conference thus far, and, uh, and I know this afternoon will be great, too. Uh, the Business Incubation Network, uh, we do have a booth outside. Bill Coons is at the booth, and you can get a sheet that looks like this. On the back is a listing on a map of all of the, or a large majority of the incubators in New Jersey. Um, incubators are a place for uh, early stage companies. Uh, many of the companies in our incubators are technology based. Last year, so at the end of 2008, the incubators provided support, support by that I mean training and um, uh, camaraderie and a place to be and a, and a business location. And uh, some of us have a little bit of money to pay for interns for early stage companies. Uh, but we supported 560. Thank you. Usually don't have to raise things higher for me. It's <laughs> always moving it down. Um, but uh, uh, 1,650 um, people were employed in these small companies, and the small companies in the incubator network in New Jersey reached almost 600 last year, 600 companies that were being supported in these incubators. And they go in New Jersey from as far south, and it really is south, uh, the Food Innovation Network, uh, the Food Food Innovation Incubator, uh, led by Luke Cooperhouse, who I believe is here, and as far north as uh, an incubator at the Picatinny Arsenal. Uh, so one's focused on food, one is focused largely on applications that, uh, uh, or businesses that have both a military and, and non-military um, uh, end use. Uh, the incubator in Newark is the largest and oldest in New Jersey. There's one in North Brunswick that's all life sciences. Many of our incubators are multidisciplined, so we're not specific to a specific type of technology or market sector. Uh, mine in the Meadowlands, as is the Echo Complex in Bordentown, is focused on alternate and renewable energy companies and green technologies. Um, these companies generated over $210 million in revenue last year, uh, so some of them are making money. And uh, they brought in an additional $115 million in, in third-party funding. Uh, largely through Angel and VC and SBIRs. Um, and they graduated about 55 um, self-sustaining companies last year. Uh, so companies do graduate. They only stay in an incubator as an incubator company for a few years to get a start. And, uh, and it's really a great place to be. So there are a number of, of us here. If you're starting a new business, and we can tell you a little bit more about um, the support you can, you can have in an incubator.